guys, welcome back to my channel. Meg's here with baby Gwenona and Matthew. Today we are very excited to do the pet tour of our furry and scaly and feathery family. So without further ado, let's start off with the puppers. Okay. Yeah? The yeah. puppers. Hello dogs. You guys want a treat? Hey, you got your treat right now. <laughs> There's like, back off. You do a shake. Good girl. Other paw? Good girl. I think we got that in frame. Can you lay down? Roll over? Good girl in a tiny space. There you go. I love these little scruffs. Mary is some kind of terrier chihuahua. We're not exactly sure. And when I rescued Scooby, they said he's... Border Terrier Chihuahua, and they're just the best little scruffs. <laughs> Scooby, we will do you next. You wait your turn. So this is Mary Jane. She's basically my best friend. Before Matthew and the baby, she was my only best friend, really. <laughs> She's just been really good to me through all the years of all sorts of trauma and things I've been through. She's just been really good to me. And she is my service dog. She will be seven next month, and I can't believe it. Time is flying. I got her when I was 16. I had just turned 16. She was just a little puppy. I've clung on to this dog all these years, and she means so much to me. I really hope that she lives a long life. She's living a happy life, so I'm hoping she lives a long one. And as far as her name goes, I think I wanted to name her a few weird things. I was 16. I just turned 16. I was still in like my emo scene phase. I was definitely a weird kid. And I remember one of the things I wanted to name her was Medusa. I don't really know why. And I can't really remember the other things, but my mom was like, no, if we're keeping this dog, I get to name. It. I just started throwing names out there and was hoping that she would like one that I liked because I was like, you're not just gonna like put a label on her and expect me to go with it. And Mary Jane was the last thing I listed out of many things. And I was expecting my mom to still be like, no. But she was like, yeah. She's just the best. Oh, Mary. Anyway, Mary, you gonna do a dig? Okay, I think it's Scooby's turn, so let's just do that. But I love Mary Jane so much, and I love you too, and I love all the pets, and we're just so a good, happy family together. Oh, don't look at my ear. scooby doo we doo So Scooby-Doo is three years old now, and he's still my baby. Okay, he's sitting kind of weird. He's, he's an awkward boy. He has a lot of anxiety. He's always just... Looking awkward. How's that? Okay. So, I want to say a year after my mom passed away, um, I already had my first cat, and Mufasa was just born. I had Mary, obviously. I still had my mom's dog, and a lot of roommates. And basically... I was volunteering for a shelter, and I was fostering dogs at the time, and I was dog sitting. And one day, I decided to go to a different shelter that was actually closer to my house, but it wasn't a non-kill shelter, which I think is why they didn't have a foster program and stuff, because I looked into that. But I had to go to a different one that was farther for the foster program. So I was kind of just like... I want to check out the one by my house. I just was petting him for a while and 
he just was especially sad looking and I just kept telling myself that I needed to leave because I was actually a ter ter a caretaker for my grandpa at the time and I knew I needed to go but I could not get myself to leave him so I was like really the only option is to adopt him you know I just have this strong feeling I work basically with shelters all the time and foster all the time and I can find homes for dogs and help out but this is that like connection that I felt with Mary and other animals that made me feel like I could not leave without it. So I asked them if I could adopt. I'm really glad I took him. It felt like I probably couldn't afford it at the time but I've always made ends meet and he's also a great dog. I really love small dogs now and I wasn't a very like small dog person or a cat person when I was younger because my mom wasn't but she ended up getting Tiger who was a small dog. He's Pekingese Chihuahua and Miniature Pincher. So he kind of like set the game for us, but it's really Mary and Scooby who have made me realize that they can be great, caring, loving family members. So I'm sure one day we will have more little scruffs, but for now, this is our family. Scooby, I know you didn't like being held right now. That's not always the case, but at least say goodbye. Bye, you cute little sweet boy. And we will have more videos about our animal-specific needs and stories and whatnot. So look out for that. But this is just the meet and greet. So Matthew grew up with German Rottweilers, or a German Rottweiler. So he really had to get another one and this is Cosmo he's four years old he's a good big bear and we love him oh buddy he's my son now too I wish I could have met him as a puppy when Matthew picked him out but he still got that sweet puppy face Slobber marker. Shake. Good boy. Oh, I didn't no even more. get that in frame, but he did catch it. No one more. Good boy. Good, good boy. boy. You good boy. You're a good monster truck. You're a good monster truck. Yeah, go monster truck. Yeah, go monster truck. <laughs> Bedtimes. Bros have bedtime. You guys got your favorite toys? You go bed? Okay. Good night. So I hope you guys enjoyed meeting our scruffy little dogs and our big bear. Now it's time to show you our kitties. Meow. Meow. It's dinner time. We've got Mufasa over here, the big orange fluff. Nala is the queen kitty of them all. This is Bojangles, he's part bobcat. Mr. Mitt has extra thumbs, he's the youngest one. And this is the oldest boy, Cheeseburger. Mufasa usually goes by Mufi. And Cheeseburger usually goes by Cheesy Boy. I call Nala Nin Nin. And then all a lot. I don't know why. I don't know how we come up with these names, but they just happen. 
And then Bojangles goes by Bobo most of the time. And Mr. Mitt is Mr. Mitt or Mitt. Sometimes it is just Mitt. Come here. Hi, Nolas. This is Nola. She's my first kitty. She's so beautiful. She is about to be four. She never means to get on our nerves and never does accidentally either. She's just always kind of doing her own thing. And Cheeseburger is Matthew's first cat. So they're the oldest. Say hi, cheesy boy. Oh, you do a stretching. Cheese likes his tail pet more than anything. They all have their own different pets that they love. Cheesy boy is turning 11 this year. Mufasa is almost 3. The thing that really made me fall in love with Mufasa was he came out of a litter of all dark cats. And his little button nose was so cute. He was just this orange little bean. And then he just got fluffier and fluffier. Bojangles! Mufasa, get your big fluff tail out the way. One of my favorite things about Bojangles is that he has... I don't know if he's going to let us see because I have treat smells on my hands, but he has a goatee. Show them your goatee. You can kind of see. He still thinks he's a baby, but he's almost two. He's being a good kitty. <laughs> you look handsome, cheesy boy. Oh, that looks a little scary. Mr. Mint wants to chill on his cat tree. He's like, I got a full time and I'm ready to go to bed. After we found out that he's polydactyl, I think that's how you pronounce it. He has extra toes. We just fell in love. And then we found out that he has a broken meow and... He just is so unique in his own little ways. One thing about his toes, though, see these blinds? He tears shit up. And he climbs everything. You want to show them your toes? There, you can see this one. It's really cute when he puts his paws down and walks because his paws go like this with his big toes. Because for some reason his extra toes are like large. So they're really like thumbs. Like cares about his treats right now. So you got to meet all the cats. We had a good time. And we're moving on. Say goodbye, Nin. Aw. <laughs> You've met most of our furry family members. Now it's time to meet our dragon. This is Erwin the dragon. It's a pretty cool day to introduce him because he's finishing up his shedding. He loves to sit on top of this house because the heat beats down on it. He's a little bit over a year old now. And he's a really sweet boy. This is his house. He has a really good top to it because the cats in the past 
have tried to break in. They have been successful to getting in, but he's been okay. Thank goodness. I don't want to touch your little sheds, so I'm going to pet you up here and let you finish doing your shedding. My good boy. Yeah, sweet boy. You got such a cool little pattern and spikes. Such a good little dude. Erwin was the first animal that Matthew and I got together when we moved in. Like, right when we moved in together. Obviously, we already had other animals. And then, after we got Erwin, we got hamsters, which you're going to meet, and chickens, which you're going to meet, and we did get another cat. So we have a big, happy family. Oh, shitty boy. You're so sweet. He eats a lot of fruits and veggies, and he still eats some buggies. Oh, baby. And we are getting close to the end of this pet tour, but first, I want you guys to meet my hamsters. So the hamster area looks like a fun area for the baby right now. And over here we have all kinds of treats and food and accessories and toys and chew things. Everything the hamsters want, basically. Right now, Marble is in this little bath thing, but he just keeps stuffing it with stuffing and laying in it because he always knocks his house over. <laughs> Marble had a horrible habit of chewing the plastic water bottle, so we have all glass now. And they're pretty much protected from any bad hamster shenanigans that could even go down. But, um, they both got tunnels. Matthew likes to throw the cheap tunnels in here. But they have the cool ones that they chew on. And houses and the wheels. And they have the balls they roll around in. And other chewy stuff. So, they're living a good life. Oh, Wilbs. He's like, can I come hang? Yeah, you can come hang, you cute little boy. Cute little baby. So yeah, Wilbur and Marble, who gets camera shy. So <laughs> let's see if we can bring him out with a treat. Now you're sitting on your treat. You're so cute. I love you, baby. Come hang out in a minute. But eat your treat. Enjoy it. You gonna stuff it in your cheekums? He's like, Mom, this is where food goes. I don't know what you're doing. Marble doesn't usually finish those. So I got him a Habsy. Beautiful boy. <laughs> yep, you're a stuffer. Can't even tell it's in there. Oh, you can see your cheek poking out a little bit. It's crazy how much they can stuff their cheeks with. Being a clean boy, he's like, hold on, I gotta get myself ready, you're gonna put me on camera. So cute. 
So pretty much what happened with these guys was the same day we got Mr. Mitt, I was picking out hamsters. It was a hamster day, but it ended up a hamster cat day. Um, and I hadn't had hamsters in a while. I decided it was time again because I really missed having them. And I saw this little guy and I was like, oh my god, his coat is so beautiful. It's like marble, which is why his name's Marbles. <laughs> but he was in the same house as Wilbur and they were cuddling in the same home. So I was like, oh, they're bros. I gotta take them both. And they ended up not wanting, well, like I said, Marble ended up not wanting to share his home with Wilbur as they got older. So, they're still bros, but from a distance. They run around in separate balls and have a good time that way, but this is just how life is now. And, you know, Marble, he's really cool, but Wilbur ended up having a really dank personality, so I'm glad it worked out that way and that I came home with them both because we really do love them and they love their sandwiches <laughs> that's the story of marble and wilbur for now so last but not least we got chickens you like your chickens let's go show our chickens <laughs> hi dixie chick hi pluck you guys making a mess in here? You wanna come hang? They like to run around our garage a lot, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna hang. The yellow one is Dixie Chick. She's technically mine. Taking up the spotlight, alright. <laughs> and the other one's beautiful girl right here is Pluck Matthews. We got them as little babies. Dixie Chick is shy and mad today. He's okay, baby. You look like a big puff. Hi, Pluck. <laughs> Pluck is such a good girl. She loves hanging. Yeah. Are you doing moonwalk? <laughs> You're moonwalking until your sister. Ah, uh, she just laid down. Sister chickens. That's why I was laughing. She just laid down like that. She's like, you want to make fun of me? Fine. I won't sit comfortably. Look at my butt. As you can see, this is Matthew's workspace, so... They're good little companions for work time. And that is it for today. That is all of our pets so far as of now. And this is our whole big loving family. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe, show us some love, comment down below, like this video, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>